after the sack of Breeze and the Saints up against it here. Off the play fake to Kamara, it's Breeze. Oh, the pressure too great and he goes down once more. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. They do go for it. It's Breeze. Over the middle, open is Thomas. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. Boy, a real head scratcher there. 30 yards. Here we go. So Breeze going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 23. 12, 12. 21, 21, 21. 21, 21. Breeze going to throw. Powerful running. He hits his target. Left side, Watson. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I think we'll see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Back to the air on second down. It's Breeze. And this one caught by Des Bryant. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Kill, kill! Breeze looking to throw on third and two. And Gens got it! With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Saints football. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and ten up at the 46. On first and ten, here's Breeze. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. That is caught at the seven. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now, Breeze again. The quick slant caught. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. And just one man in the backfield here. That's Kamara, second and goal. He'll get it up the middle, and he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. A great play there, taking it in. And the Saints are able to cash in for six. Lutz with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Lutz now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. here, we go, here we go. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 right at the 30. They'll run with Ingram here to begin the drive. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, 
These pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guys. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Space to maneuver at the 40. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. What they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. Yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. remain here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. They go play action here on first down. Nowhere to turn this time and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Alex Okafor in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. We know all the receivers go through those tiptoe drills, right, trying to get their feet down inbounds. But a lot of the times what we don't talk about is when they're up in the air and they catch the ball. You ever notice how they're reaching back with their feet, not just straight down, but back because they're trying to create enough distance to make sure their feet are in bounds. They weren't able to get it done on that one, though. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Only two on the screen pass there, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. Looking for Ginn, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. So after the INT, it's Breeze. Caught on the left side by Ginn. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So that changes things. Here's first and 10 all the way up at the 45. Breeze now on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. To throw, it's Breeze. And Bryant's got it over the middle. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Breeze now 9 of 11 passing in this first half. He's got his guys at first and 10. On the ground, Kamara. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Kamara. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. 
First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Lutz now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter.